Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching your very last jQuery for beginners lesson and in this video I want to talk about what kind of things you want to be looking at next. Alright then gang, so the first thing I suggest you take a look at is jQuery UI and UI just stands for user interface. Now this gives us loads of tools to help us easily make improvements to user interactions. It's great for desktop, great for mobile apps and websites alike. Now the kind of things we can do with this are make date pickers really easy for forms, uh, make draggable elements, sortable elements, resizable elements, plus loads of more cool stuff. So yeah, I'll leave a link to that website down below so you can go there and check that out. And also guys, stay tuned for a playlist coming up on this channel soon for jQuery UI also. The next thing I suggest you do is just get out there and experiment with jQuery yourself to create some new cool interactivity on your web pages. The kind of things you want to be looking at are sliders, tooltips, expandable lists, image galleries, all the kind of things you're going to find on modern websites. Now, everything I've taught you in this series so far can be put together to create these kind of things. So your knowledge level right now is good enough to do this. However, I will be doing a playlist called jQuery Projects or something similar in the very near future. And I'm going to upload to that regularly with a new project each time. And I'm going to be covering all of these four things plus others. So yes, yeah, stay tuned for that also. Um, another thing we could look at is Ajax. And Ajax just stands for Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. And um, it's a way to communicate with a server, load data into your web page without refreshing. So it's just better for the user uh, because we don't have to load everything again. And a couple of places you may have seen this is on Google Maps, yeah? You search for an area and it throws up a map. That's communicated with the server to grab that information initially. Now, when you scroll on that map, you know, when you click down and move the map from left to right, it has to reload that image, right? So it's communicating with the server and getting the data to reload that image without actually refreshing the page. That is Ajax in action, right? Another example could be traffic update websites where every minute or so it just posts a new update without refreshing the page. So yeah, this is a really cool thing and jQuery provides a cool tool set to make working with Ajax really, really simple. So what I'm going to do in the future is first of all make an Ajax tutorial series for JavaScript, that's vanilla JavaScript, and then I'm going to compare that with jQuery and Ajax to show you how much easier this is, okay? So we're going to do some cool projects with Ajax as well in the future. And finally, we're going to take a look at jQuery plugins in the future as well. Um, I suggest you go out there and just search Google for some cool plugins. There's absolutely thousands of them out there. Not all great, uh, but there's some really good ones. Things for creating uh, image sliders, galleries, um, loads of different things. So yeah, have a look around. And in the future, like I say, I'm going to take a look at them as well. Showcase some really good ones on this channel, as well as do a few tutorials on how to create your own plugins for jQuery and distribute them yourself. So I hope you've enjoyed this playlist guys uh, and you've learned something. Um, if you've not, do tell me and I will make improvements, but uh, yeah, it would be great to get your feedback and the kind of things that you'd like to learn in the future also. So thanks again for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the very next playlist.